Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 65th episode of Coffee with Jody. And today we're going to talk about wrapping up this first month of the year and you know what are some of the things to be focusing on. We'll look at 10 resolutions, re-solutions. We'll look at the training, the learning, and the giving. And what is your predominant theme going to be for the year? In 2020, Doug and I did a lot of work on pro bono coaching sessions and helping hundreds and hundreds of business owners in our community to get through these really challenging times. Now, I know not every business um, had uh, you know, a devastating effect to their bottom line or their top line, but many, many businesses did. So we're looking now at what are 10 resolutions, re-solutions, for companies that are looking to add value to their business and make it more profitable. Number one, stop chasing top line revenue. A lot of business owners and teams are seduced by the revenue number. Oh, we sold 2 million, we sold 10 million. You could sell yourself right out of business. The most sexy number in your profit and loss and on your balance sheet and on your financial statements is the profitability of your company. How much cash are you able to take and either use it to repay debt, make capital investments, or have an owner or a team distribution? So stop chasing top line revenue. The second one is survey your customers. Ask them, what should we stop doing? What should we start doing? And what should we keep doing? Back in the marketplace, they know because they're living with your product or service, what it is that you ought to be doing better than you do. Many times as business owners, we're like, well, this is what we want to do. This is what we think people need. No, our opinion doesn't count nearly as much as their opinion does. So survey your customers. The third one is sell less stuff to more people. I know it sounds counterintuitive because everybody thinks about expanding and expanding the product line. But the science actually shows us that the more niche you become, the more well known you are for that niche, the more you can sell. Rather than being somebody who sells, you know, lots of different kinds of stuff and doesn't do any one of them exceedingly well, you'll want to be focusing on what can we eliminate from our product or service line that actually allows us to focus and become masterful and develop that as a core competency in our company and then sell it to more people leveraging from that niche. So the fourth one is drop the services and or products that depend on you. Now that one scares me too. I got it. However, many times if the product or service is dependent on us and only us, we're the lid on the opportunity of that business to grow. Yes, you can get other uh, team members to do those things that are not the best use of your time or to go in and do more marketing. But if the product or service is dependent on you, start considering which ones you would be willing to drop. All right, the fifth one is, right, the fifth one is to collect money up front. I'm finding a lot of clients have shifted to doing this, even in industries where that wasn't typically done, that they're taking deposits up front and then using that to, to secure an order. The sixth one is to increase whatever you can inside of recurring revenue. If you don't have a recurring revenue model in your business, what's one that you could create that doesn't require you that would allow for recurring revenue in your business? Just look. If you don't have that, start looking and make it a goal to be able to implement that sometime this year. It might not be quarter one, but at some point. How can we create a recurring revenue stream here in our business? Number seven, be different. 
And this leads me to what I'll be talking about in our next couple of videos, which is on profiles and how to actually be your very best self. And one of those profiles from Sally Hogshead is called How to Fascinate. Her premise is it's more important to be different than it is to be better so that you stand out in the marketplace and in your customers' minds. So how can you be different? What is something that you can add to your company and your service offering or your product offering that's different from anyone else in your sector? Find a backup supplier for raw materials. If you're in manufacturing, this is gonna be really critical. We see this a lot in the food industry and in, um, in wood and so on. Find a backup supplier or two or three for those items that you may not uh, have been able to get a hold of uh, during this uh, time of COVID. Create an instruction manual, a procedure manual for every process that happens in your organization. The reason for doing this is it allows people to come into your team and be an asset pretty much from day one. So create an instruction manual, a policy and procedure manual for every process in your business. And the last one, number 10 of the uh, re solutions is teach your team members to fish. You'd be surprised, uh, particularly in our experience of bringing in the lean principles, the eight lean principles to our business, how much more engaged, how much more of a contribution the team is than when we're just like, okay, these are the things you do. Oh, the best ideas, as I've said over and over, come from the people doing the doing. So teach them how to be independent, give them the autonomy and authority to make decisions inside of their realm of accountability and teach them to fish. The next thing I wanna talk with you about is in creating a plan, like if you've created your plan, make sure these elements are in it. If you haven't created your plan yet, make sure that these elements go into your plan. And that is, what is the learning? What is the training and development that we need to do individually and as a team in order to gain efficiencies or develop additional core competencies inside of those areas that we are passionate about, where we make uh, an economic impact for our company and we contribute to the community. And so look for that training and development that needs to happen in the company and on the individual level with a training and development pathway. Next, look at your giving. How are you going to give back? Um, for us, we're very passionate about B1G1, Business for Good, about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We're aligned with number eight, good jobs and economic growth. We give back by being on different committees on uh, you know, chambers and uh, economic development organizations here where we are. And we're also giving back by providing education and strategy sessions for business owners in our community to help them with that thinking um, that they, the thinking that they need to do in order to be able to start growing um, now that things are hopefully opening up in our economy. As you think about this year, look at it inside of four arenas, the decision arenas for every single company, whether you're Coca-Cola or small business like ours. People, which includes the team members, it includes the clients, it includes your vendors and suppliers, uh, your colleagues in the community and in your industry and so on. So people. The next area is strategy, which covers top line growth. The next area is how do we implement and execute on the plans that we made? Those are your tactical aspects of fulfilling on the strategy. And then your cash flow and financial management. And you know, all of the key decisions in your company will fall into one of those four areas. So it gives you kind of a framework for looking at your business uh, for the year. Right? So with that said, we'll wrap up the 10 re-solutions. What is the learning that the company is gonna do both as a company and individually? How will you give back? And the four different areas of decision-making, people, strategy, top line, execution, profitability, and then your financial and cash flow. And with that, Make it a great 
day, week, month, quarter, and year. You've got this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe, and feel free to reach out to us. As I said, we give a complimentary strategy session to business owners in our community. And you can reach me at Jody, J-O-D-Y, Johnson at actioncoach.com. Leave a comment, reach out to me on LinkedIn, and you can call 305-984-2414. All right, all, bye for now.